So it's my, my freshman year of college. We're about to start on my first season, right? Uh, you know, coach says, hey, guys, think of your walkout songs. Get your walkout songs. That way we can have them. They can play it for you when you guys are going up to go bat, all right? Make sure you have them all turned in. They're all due by this date. I forgot when the date was, but I was like, okay. I pull up to the parking lot, right? I'm ready to go to practice. And then someone said, hey, Shai, you got your walkout song? I was like, oh, no. So it's it's due right now. I was like, oh, dang. Okay, 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 okay. So I go to my car. Well, I'm still in my car. Put in my CDs. I had a bunch of blank CDs with the instrumentals. You know, who knows what I was doing with those instrumentals when they were playing. Ah, uh, maybe we'll get to a SoundCloud Anonymous and let's see what happens. Anyways, JK. So I put the record in, or album in, the CD in, and I'm going to the instrumentals. I want to find a good instrumental. No, no, no. Oh, oh, I like this one. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. You know, tough between these two or these three decisions. Let's see what's up. So, okay, yeah, I like this one. I like this one. So, all right, coach, I got it. Put a little sticky on it. It says, it's track number whatever, 17 or number 11. That's the one I want. All right, cool. So... We're playing a game, right? We're playing a home game, so our announcer is announcing now batting number 28 or 35. I forgot what my number was my freshman year. Ruben Chives. So I go up to bat, ah, or I'm walking, they're playing that song. Dun 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 I forgot how it goes, but I'll probably be playing it over this video. Dun 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 dun. I was like, oh, it just sounded tough. Like whenever I get into a zone, whenever I'm about to go play football or go do something and run through somebody, or if I gotta ah, just get geared up, I'm not trying to put on any Da, 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 da. I'm not trying to go crazy. I gotta save that energy, man, because I'm about to put all that energy into you. I don't want to waste it in the locker room. You know what I mean? So I, I need to be right here. Yeah, yeah. So that beat was mmm, mmm, mmm. I liked it. It put me in that, that zone right there. Anyways, so I go bat, right? Whatever. Uh, I don't even know what I did my first at bat. Who knows? But I do know that my friend, like, ah, I struck out or something bad happened. I come back to the bench and I'm like, dang man, I'm talking to my friend DZ, David Zarate. We're there and he's like, hey Shires, what song is that? I said, I don't even know man, it's an instrumental that I got, I liked it, I picked it last minute. This is at the end of the year, not even joking, it's like the end of the year, one of our last home stands. So I know that song, man, I know that song. Now I was like, okay, yeah, sure, all right, well what is it? So I know that song, everybody knows I'm a Christian, everybody knows I believe in God, everybody knows I'm living a life, boom, trying to live a life above reproach. Boom, just trying to seek righteousness in God's face. That's what I wanted to do. And so everybody knows that, right? So DZ knows that. Keep that in mind when, he, when I tell you what he tells me. He's like, I know that song. What is that song? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Zach, what song was this? You know what song this is? He's like, uh, I don't know. He says, isn't this that song from the 3-6 Mafia? And I was like, oh, shoot. That's already strike one, right? Because I don't listen to 3-6 Mafia. And he says, 3-6 Mafia, what's that song? Hey, Zach, isn't this from the 36 Mafia? He says, yeah, it is from 36 Mafia. So what's, what song is it? What's the name of that song? I think that they're lying because they know I'm a Christian. And that's the opposite of what I stood for. I'm like, okay, yeah, what song is it? Uh-huh. He goes, no, 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 it is, bro. The song is, and he says, it's called Butts and Boobies. But he says the other words. It's called Butts and Boobies. And I was like, I cracked up. <laughs> I said, you get, get out of here. Like, wow. So I cracked up. I'm laughing in the dugout. I said, you guys are idiots. There's no, that's a good one, that's a good joke. It's not, nah, dude, I'm being serious, Shives. Hey, hey, isn't that? And so now it's spread in the dugout. Yeah, it is, yeah, that is. Oh, now all of a sudden everybody remembers the name of the song? Whatever, whatever. Oh yeah, y'all got me, good stuff. You got me, nice joke, nice joke. Later on, I think the next day, or something, DZ remembers, hey, Shives, look, check it out. Remember I told you that your walkout song is that 3-6 Mafia Butts and Boobies? Look, look, he plays the song and to my horror, I heard the beat that I was walking out to. Wow, I was like, oh my gosh. So that means that the little kids or the high school kids, the college kids, the track, the volleyball people that would go to our games, and I'd go walk up to the thing, oh hey, that's, that's, that's Shives, he's a Christian. Yeah, oh I know him, I went to school with him, I went to high school with him. And I'm out there and announced my name, Ruben Shives which is synonymous with living, trying to live a godly life, trying to be a Christian, I get in the box and I say, oh, that's his walkout song? You know what walkout song it is? That's 36 Mafia, Butts and Boobies. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. I didn't, I just thought it was a cool beat. I thought it was nice, I thought it was neat. I thought, I thought it was cool. I didn't know that it meant that. 
and that's probably why I had the worst batting percentage of my college career my freshman year. You might say, oh, well, you were a freshman, so of course you're going to do, but nah, man, it was a bad, I had a bad, I batted 160 as a freshman. I batted 160 as a freshman because of that song right there. That song was putting spiritual things out there over me that I didn't even know I was doing. So just because the, the spiritual principle here, the spiritual truth here is just because we don't know or just because we're ignorant about it doesn't mean that something isn't operating in our lives. It's just a movie. It's just words. It's just a place I go to. It's just something I look at. It's just this. Nah, man, everything has spiritual weight behind it. Whether or not we know it or not, that ignorance does not exclude us from the consequences of the things that we're putting ourselves in. All right, dang, I was putting a curse on myself and I didn't even know it. And that and then, dang, idiot. The opposite of everything I stood for, I didn't even know that. Who knows the people that I was hurting with that witness? Like, use my witness bad. Shoot, man. I kid you not, I did not know that whatsoever. And when I found that out, I was mortified, man. I was embarrassed, to say the least. Whew, all right, we love you, Father. Let's go get him, Lord. Everything that you do, everything that you're around, whatever you listen to, whatever you got going on, has spiritual weight behind it. Don't, don't, what's it called? Don't underestimate it. Don't take it for, don't minimize everything that we do. Whether you eat, drink, whatever we do, let's do it unto the Lord, all right? Whatever is pure, whatever is holy, whatever is righteous, whatever is of good report, whatever is of that, praiseworthy, all that, think on such things. Let's not be associated with the dark stuff, right? We're a child, children of light, right? Children of light? Well, let's be about that light. We love you, Father. Let's go get them. For real, for real. Tearing down the roof is my vocation. Anybody want the truth, drop your location. Yeah, and we gon' wiggle out and pull up. Demons ain't safe when we glide. Yeah.